Hello 31 Day Challenge participants. This is McCade here just checking in with you guys. It is now we should be on day 13 honor and which marks part three, God is always love. And I love this part of tasting the goodness of God. It's the third part and it's also the central part. And that was actually done by design when I wrote Tasting the Goodness of God because love is the central theme of the entire Bible, and also, I hope, the central theme of this devotional book, because God is love. And if there's one thing we should always take away in our encounters with God, is that God loves us with an unfailing love. Throughout the Bible, it says that God loves us. And I want you to think about that for a moment, that God's love goes on forever and ever and ever. So it's so important as believers to remember that God is always love. He never stops loving us even when we mess up. If you look at the scriptures and you start from Genesis and work your way all the way into through Revelation, in Genesis God gives the Torah or the law to Moses. And then you have God bringing forth and raising up the kings. And you have the Psalms and the Proverbs. And then Israel falls away from the Lord and he sends all the prophets to warn them. And he brings the judgments. And then you, fl and you flim over to the New Testament. And you have Jesus and the disciples. And Jesus dies and he's resurrected. And then you have the new church that is born out of that. All the way from Genesis to Revelation, there's one common theme. And it's the love of God. God's love has endured from since before the foundation of time all the way to the very end. Even in the great tribulation, God's love is still extended to mankind that all would come to know him. And that's what we have to look forward to in eternity is God's enduring love. And so I just want to encourage you today to put your trust in in God. As you read through part three, I pray that you would feel the love of God in a special, special way. And, and I start with honor as being one of the attributes of love today, because I believe when you honor God, he's going to honor you right back. When you honor God first in your life, he's going to create honor to come right back down into your life. He's going to bring promotion into your life. I believe in your workplace, in your finances, um, in your relationships. When you honor God, when you honor the scriptures, God's going to bring honor back to you. You know, honor is an attribute of love. Honor and love work hand in hand. Romans 12, 10 says that when you honor the Lord, he's going to honor you. And so I just want us to work on that this week, to just look for ways to honor one another and to honor the Lord, because that's a godly attribute, is when we honor each other. One way we honor each other is by treating each other with mutual respect. And so we don't always think of that as love, but respect is an attribute of love. It's an attribute of the Father's love. So I pray that this part is just, you have a special time with God as you pause and think about the infinite love of God. And also, I am posting every single day just some of my thoughts I've written on each and every daily devotional. And I encourage you to engage with me. You can engage with me on Facebook. I post on the 31 Day Challenge chat board. Um, ask questions. Throw something out there. I love engaging with you guys. I love hearing your questions, your thoughts, your concerns, maybe your testimonies. And also, when you're sharing, other people are reading that, and it's encouraging them, too. So please engage with me. If nobody else responds to something you have to say, I promise you I will. I love it when 31 Day Challenge participants interact with each other and interact with me. And also, I want to encourage you, if you've fallen behind in the 31 Day Challenge, it's only day 13, get back up, keep going, keep reading devotionals. You can play catch-up. You can read straight into February. Whatever you do, don't give up. So there's no rules here. This is a, um, you're going at your own pace. So get caught up and keep going. 
So, all right, guys. Well, I love you so much, and I am praying for you. I'm believing 2020 is going to be the best year, the best decade because of our faith. Not because we're not going to have any problems. Not because the world isn't going to, quote, unquote, get worse, which, you know, there's always going to be trials. But I believe that through faith, we are going to accomplish some things we never thought possible before because of God's love that is propelling us to keep moving forward. All right, guys. Well, I love you so much and I'm praying for you. Engage with me on the 31 Day Challenge chat board or on social media. God bless you.